What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another fans choice training guide. A lot of people ask me about the Paul, so we are going to focus on him. Short snappy video because this guy is a bit of a monster lads. I'm going to say it right here, right? This is a good pack. I think a lot of people are kind of forgetting that their contracts are going to be going. So they're like, yeah, I've got better players here. I've got better players there. But what happens, lads, when you don't have any contracts left? That's why they're re-releasing good, solid players that you can kind of build a, a team out for eFootball24. And we yet have to see how they're going to carry over certain cards. I'll have a video out on that as well. So DePaul is a beast of a card. Really, really good player. He can play that H formation is what I call it. He can play anywhere on the left, anywhere on the right, or anywhere through the middle, apart from DMF. So that kind of steers this car steers this car steers this card in a certain way especially when you look at his play style which is whole player which kind of it does it holds your hand really in telling you how to train this guy up now one interesting thing about the paul is that he is kind of a box to box style player with his player ai and his skills um but he doesn't actually have any interception block or anything like that so i think as a whole player this guy is not as kind of silky on the ball. He's not as smooth to control as, say, some of the other hole players such as Foden or Eze or um, Mane they had or Sané they had as, a, as an attacking midfielder that was a player of the week or even hole player Mbappe who just feels really solid on the ball, right? So if you are going using him, I definitely recommend you kind of put a bit of thought into how you're going to use him within the squad that you have. I definitely think long ball counter or quick counter or even possession where you're playing players exactly where you want to play them in their flexible positions, I do think that DePaul is a really good option for a whole player, especially if you are used to be comfortable on the ball. And, you know, having one touch pass um, is kind of a bit of a problem with this card. You will have to give that to him if you do, if you are used to having your whole players or your attacking midfielders in that position. But um, he does have double touch. He does have soul control. He does have true pass and weighted pass and low lofted pass and also fighting spirit. So it's kind of a unique card, right? So I've used DePaul on my other account for a long time and he was part of the journey that I had on my first Division 1 um, way back when, when I was playing out wide, okay? So if we are going to take a look at him, he does have unwavering form as well, which is nice. We are going to go over here to eFootballDB.com and uh, we are going to get my screen back up there as well, my webcam. So we kind of have two builds of him, but we're not going to do two separate builds. We're going to build it into one, right? The first thing you'll notice is they released an Argentina pack way back when, right? They will probably release more club and uh, country packs, national team packs. And I do think that this player was probably better. Um, this version, all the player skills, the, everything is pretty much identical. Every single player build of him. This one was a box to box. Um, this one here. And then you had this one as a whole player. You also had this one that we're looking at here. But the real one that kind of compares is probably the uh, CMF version of him here for the Argentina pack, right? This, has got, this guy has got, this card had 31 levels. A lot of people said this was the best version of him. But if you actually look at his stats, right? Apart from having one better stat in offensive awareness, ball control, and minus three on defensive uh, awareness, right? This card has got my, this, sorry, this card that we're looking at here has got plus one. This Argentina pack has better offensive awareness, ball control, and defensive awareness than this card, but it has three less low passing. That three less low passing is actually quite key for this card and putting him at up my tier in uh, in the list of the DePaul cards, especially if you're going to be playing him as that designated whole player and not trying to get him box to box, which a lot of people think he is because he is kind of a bit rough and tumble sometimes with that aggression and the defensive engagement. He just kind of plays that way. A lot of CMFs play that way in the game because the game is so interception heavy, right? So he's got 31 levels to go, the same as this card here, um, but he also has tr plus three passing. So while on this Argentina card, you would have to boost up the passing by about, I would say, maybe eight. You don't actually have to do that on this one at all. You can just pop it to maybe five. So that's a big key difference because you're going to be saving what? Maybe like six points, eight points um, compared to what you usually would have there. So, I mean, if you were to get that pass in there and pop eight points into it, it's going to take 12 points. Whereas in fact, we're only going to have to take six points from that. So you're kind of having what it takes. Now that does depend on what type of role you're playing for him. I'm just going to show you the build that I really recommend that is excelling um, on the pitch at the moment with the gameplay, right? We're also going to just tidy up his dribbling a little bit and get that to the 88 mark. Now we might revisit that low passing depending on how you play and if you are going to put one touch pass on or not. If you are going to be putting one touch pass on, 
low pass at 85 is more than enough trust me it's more than enough right we're going to pop the rest in to make him a very good kind of all-around player right now we are going to go slightly overkill for this build on the acceleration the balance and the offensive awareness the reason for that is because we're playing him as a whole player attack and midfielder based version of the card we don't need lower body strength his stamina and his speed at 75 and 80 are more than enough for the card and for the role that we're going to be playing with him so where do we put the rest of the stats well this is kind of where the card can really take a bit of a a, a kind of a, a dirt road right um kind of a sidetrack right i do think that you possibly could get away with popping up the passing to eight levels you're going to have three stats three very key stats there at 88 and you're also going to have acceleration at 88 okay now, where I think this card excels is when you actually bring his acceleration into the 90 zone because it also brings his balance up to 87 and it also brings his offensive awareness up to 85. So if you're looking for a really dominant attack and midfielder that can do it all with the player skills and you don't want to train any more additional skills on him, you don't want to touch, put on one touch pass, you do probably need to get into that 90 zone with the low passing. If you're going to have him as your main, you know, spray the ball forward in the whole player, but realistically, all this guy is going to be doing is set up as a really good hold player because hold players play with the playing style more than anyone. You can see it more evident with the runs that they make if you've got a very direct system through the middle, right? So if you are comfortable enough with that, you would not possibly think that the Paul is going to have 90 acceleration with 87 balance. It is probably a bit overkill for him okay so we would probably tweak that back down a little bit and then you know you can pop up the shooting if you want a bit of finishing or else to go with a bit of a, a kind of a curveball you could actually boost up his defensive engagement to 78 even though you're not going to need this he's still going to be like your most attacking based option it does actually raise up his overall as an attacking midfielder in that position as a 94 right the only other option that you could go with him is if you want to use him as kind of an engine man, you could get away with 85 there if you pop one touch pass on him. Dribbling doesn't need to be that high once it's over 85. The acceleration, I would leave that as there, but I would also pop eight into speed. Now, that is a different type of player that you're going to be using, you know, especially because you're not going to get much balance with him. Um, I would probably pop up the dribbling or else to pass on one more. You're going to go a 94 rated CMF there. But I do think that he is a phenomenal card, lads, especially if you're starting off. A lot of people that are kind of starting the game now um, are maybe kind of wondering, right, do I need a specific card to play a specific position or a specific role? I would say that DePaul is kind of like, he doesn't really fit into that kind of like round hole of like, this is the exact player to play. I do think you need to ex experiment a little bit with him. And you're kind of putting him in the same. This build that we had there, the first build, um, was kind of putting him in the same role as the likes of Pedri and Gavi that are kind of going to be a very attacking-based option while still being able to do everything, dribble, pass, and have a really good speed and balance. So it's up to you, but he is a phenomenal card and he always kind of pops up in good positions. He reminds me of Marcus Lorente, especially with the amount of variety that you can have with his positions. So that is it for me, lads. Another video done and dusted. Hope you guys enjoy this training guide. Let me know who next you want to see. We'll be back later. Peace.